everyone, and welcome to Live Art Mini with Inside Out Studio. I'm Amanda Joy. I'm so happy to be here today. Today we are going to wrap up our series for African American History Month. We've been doing uh, different black artists all month long. And this week we are going to be talking about an artist named Jacob Lawrence. Before we get started, we are going to, uh, we have a message for our sponsor. Come on down, David. Awesome. David wants to say? Thank you for to says symmetry. Symmetry. Boutique. Boutique and gallery. Awesome. <laughs> and stay tuned for a message. Hi, my name is Debbie. I'm here at Symmetry Boutique and Gallery. I am Sherry Armstead's daughter, and we want to thank you for your continued support of our small local business here in Fairfield. Inside Out Studio has always been a mission that Sherry and Symmetry has supported in their mission to help young artists and giving them opportunities. If you're new to Symmetry and our store, please come in and visit us at 1000 Sims Road. Mention that you saw the Inside Out Studio video and receive 10% off your next purchase. Take care. Thank you. There we go. Okay, so this is a picture of Jacob Lawrence. He's an artist who uh, was uh, working during the Harlem Renaissance. And if you're not familiar with the Harlem Renaissance, um, it was a time uh, in the 1920s and 30s in um, Harlem, Manhattan in New York City. And it was um, a time when intellectual and cultural revival of African-American music, dance, art, fashion, literature, theater, and politics were really um, vibrant, and there was a lot of new creativity happening in the African-American community there in New York City, and uh, Jacob Lawrence was definitely a part of that. And we'll go ahead and start taking a look at some of his work. So this painting uh, is from a series um, about it's called the migration series. It was a series of 60 different paintings all um, about the great migration of African Americans from the rural south to the urban north. And Jacob Lawrence was painting this uh, in the 1940s. And he was, uh, he gained national recognition with his paintings when he was only 25 years old. So that's when this painting was created, when he was pretty young, and uh, right away he was really well known. And if you notice, his style there, uh, we were talking about it in the studio today with artists, and we noticed that there are a lot of colors that pop. There's not a lot of shading. Actually, there's not shading at all in, his, in these paintings. It's all blocks of color, and actually, Jacob Lawrence is considered uh, his style is considered dynamic cubism. So we're kind of thinking of those blocks of color to make a really dynamic image, and that's why it's called dynamic cubism. So we'll take a look at another image. And this is the image that we are actually going to base our project on today. This is from the Harriet Tubman series from 1940. And I just want to take a second, if you're not familiar with Harriet Tubman, um, she was born as an enslaved person uh, in Maryland, and she escaped to freedom and ultimately made her way to Philadelphia, Pennsylvania. And during the 1850s and, 18, uh, the 1850s and 60s, she courageously returned to the South 19 times helping more than 300 enslaved people escape to freedom to Canada. She traveled under the cover of night, and she used the North Star in, uh, 
as she went through to guide her way and followed the Underground Railroad. And the Underground Railroad, if you're not familiar, is not a real railroad. It is a network of people that helped enslaved people escape to freedom. By day, they hid secretly in houses along the route, risking um, her life, Harriet Tubman, liberated others and demonstrated great strength, courage, tenacity, and self-sacrifice. She also worked as a nurse during the Civil War and later returned as an advocate for the rights of African Americans and women. And uh, it was in 1939 and 1940, well after Harriet Tubman's death, that Jacob Lawrence created this series of 31 panels to describe moments in Harriet Tubman's life. Um, and he even revisited the subject of Harriet Tubman and wrote a children's book um, called Harriet Tubman and the Promised Land. And that was in 1967 that that children's book came out. So like I said, this is the image we're going to be looking, doing our uh, work on today, our project. And when we talked about it with the artist, does anybody remember some things about this image? Is this one here? What are some things we see there? Red, red, white, and yellow. Red, white, and yellow. And blue. Blue at the top. Blue at the top? Yeah, when we originally talked about it, we said that that little strip, that kind of ribbon of blue, looked like it was kind of guiding these people through the painting, perhaps even guiding them to freedom. And their gesture, they all look like they're hopping around and dancing, right? Yeah. yeah. So they, so we were saying, if, um, that's probably how anyone would feel if they were being oppressed for hundreds of years and finally felt freedom. They probably would be having feelings that would make them want to jump around and do cartwheels and backflips and all that stuff. So this painting really is kind of capturing that sense of freedom and also that, that blue line is kind of guiding us through the page. And also um, the colors are really chunky. Again, we have that dynamic cubism. So we are going to be doing a colored paper project with that. But before we get started on that, I just wanted to show you a few more paintings that Jacob Lawrence has done. So we'll take a look at this one. Uh, it's called Firewood Number 55 from 1942. And again, um, it almost looks like these shapes were cut out of paper and pasted on. In fact, he painted these things. But he really captured that style, which was pretty different for the time. It doesn't look like a photograph. He's using color and shape to really make things uh, pop in a way that they don't necessarily in real life. So here we see uh, some ca a cabin and a lady chopping firewood. There's uh, clothes on the line, so getting a sense for this kind of rural uh, landscape. We also have, and I wanted to show this one because our, the artists here love baseball, right? Yeah. Yeah. So, <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> Ready to watch this in tonight, Red. So this is the Jacob Lawrence painting. Uh, this is from a little bit later on. This, this one's from 1949. It's called Strike. It's a little bit different than some of the other ones, but again, we really get that kind of blocky, exaggerated forms, bright colors. And also, so much of Jacob Lawrence's artwork was about uh, African-American life and celebrating the accomplishments and achievements and uh, the history. So we know that so much of American baseball owes a debt of gratitude to the black professional baseball players. So I think that is probably one reason he has chosen this for a subject. We also have one here. This one is um, a painting of this called The Workshop, Builders Number no. 1 from 1972. So uh, building was also a common theme. And if you can tell, we have, we talked about it earlier. Uh, with the artists, we have the background colors, which are kind of bland, um, you know, gray, brown. And then the colors that these men are wearing are straight up primary colors, blue, yellow, red, really bright and popping off the page. So um, this artwork is actually uh, really a lot of fun, I think, to look at. And then we also have, we'll talk about this one last painting. This one is called Confrontation at the Bridge from the series 
Not Songs of Loyalty Alone, The Struggle for Personal Freedom from 1975. So again, freedom is a huge theme for him, um, for African American people in America. Uh, they're crossing a bridge. You can tell that they're even kind of being faced by some kind of an angry creature down there on the left. Um, but they are still going strong. And again, those colors of the shirts are really popping through. Um, the same cool, dynamic Cubist style. So that is our review of Jacob Lawrence's work. And like I said, today we are going to work on a colored paper collage. And let us know in the comments if you are going to use the template and follow along, because I'd love to give you some special instructions if you're going to follow along with us. So we also want to say hi to Kathleen. She says a shout out. Everyone want to say hi to Kathleen. Hi, Kathleen. Oh, that was so enthusiastic. I love it. And we'll... We can just, let's take a, a look around the room here. Does everybody want to say hello to the camera? Ah! All right. Everybody ready to work on our colored paper collages? Woo! Yeah. Awesome. Yeah. Okay. Hi. Let's get to it. So, some things we're going to need for this project. If you're doing it from home, and I'll tell you what we're using here. We are using uh, different colors of paper. For a background, we have some pre-cut figures cut out that we are going to be using. Here, uh, I'll show you a sample. Oh, Jody's going to show us a sample. And here is one of the samples right here. Yep, there's a little figure Jody's showing us, and we'll get a close-up of Jody's. And here's another one. Oh. Hold on, Jody. I'll show you in just a second. So we're also going to need scissors, a pencil, and some glue. Today we're using glue dots because we had them around and they're easy to use. So again, do we cheer for glue dots? So this is uh, an example of what we're going to be making today. So again, that's from the Harriet Tubman series that we talked about uh, by Jacob Lawrence. So we are going to be cutting apart these different shapes and gluing it together to make an awesome collage. So let's check in over here with Jody. We're going to be working alongside with Jody here. She's got some parts started. Hi, guys! <laughs> okay, so let's start, everybody. We're going to do our background, the ground first. So everybody has this um, darker color. Yes. So for you, Jody, it'll be this one. Yes. So let's set this up. Okay. Yeah. All right. So, and at home, you can do this too if you have a color that you're going to use for the ground. So, we're going to take a pencil. Let me just make sure I can see this one here. Hi, guys. You can see it on yours. So, you're going to draw kind of like a bumpy line going across. Okay, you want a bumpy line? Cut up. Okay, so you can kind of just cut out all of them. Hi, Facebook world. Hi, everybody. Hi, everybody. Hi, everybody. Hi, everybody. Cut out there, Jenny. All right. You ready to cut that one out? Yes, ma'am. Uh, Even if you don't cut exactly on those lines, because those are a lot of bumps. That's okay. Yay, Facebook! <laughs> awesome. Jody, do you have anything fun to report to Facebook while the camera's watching you work? I want to say hi to everybody. My mom, my dad, my aunt, my aunt, my aunt, my uncle, my niece, and nephew, my brother, Scott, my sister, all Jay. My brother Chris is good for Michelle and the and the dogs like Sadie, Barry, Charlie, so amazing birdie. Hi guys! And my girlfriends too. Hi everybody! Okay, so we're gonna we're making our background line. We're gonna cut it out here. Let me see if I can get a good look at it. I was going to say, this is fun, you guys. Oh, good. We'll see if we can take a look here, uh, over here. Hello, furball. <laughs> Hello, furball. Talking to the cats. I was saying hi to my dog, my book, my, my 
Okay, we got David. You working on your back? You got your background cut out? Yeah. Excellent. Hi, hey. everybody. How are you doing out there? Oh! Then let us know in the comments what you thought about Jacob Lawrence's artwork. This is probably one of my favorite artists that we've talked about this month. I think so. I think. I really like this. Big blocks of color. Yep, so then you'll, once you get it cut out, we'll use the blue dots. Do you want me to show you how to do that, David? Let me, let me, man, this, do I have to go straight? What? No, 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 you straight. We want to like a bumpy line. So what I like to do with the blue dots is stick this down like this, and then pull it, oops, pull it off with the blue dots, and just stick it on. Sex her hand. <laughs> you need some help, Kara? This is fun doing at home, too, you guys. Thank you. No problem. That's what I'm here for. Those things are sticky. Sticky blue dots. Yeah. 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 Okay, Brett, you got your. Oh, okay. Man, that's so good. If you haven't already done so, let's take a look at that. That's fine. That would be only that part. But you don't like this part? Nope. Alright, you got some like mountains in the background here. I like it. Thank you. So let's find our blue dots. Oh, thank you. I think it's all Okay, so then we stick this on like this. Yeah. Pull it off. Oh, care. Okay, so then we're gonna flip it and then we just stick it into place. Yeah. Awesome. Make sure you flip it in first. Yep, and then we've already made our uh, sky piece, right? Yeah. Yeah. So if you're at home, there is a template that you can print off that has different pieces. It's my piece. That's your sky? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So the one in the painting is going to look something like this. And uh, if you go to our Facebook page, you can print off all the pieces. And I happen to have it labeled what colors to use to keep it. This is your name. We don't do that. I'm groovy. We don't do that. <clears throat> now we're going to do our sky. Make sure you, make sure you're doing this one step at a time. One step at a time. That's the way to do it. So you can put that up in your sky. And if you can glue it okay. don't have to stop your fingers. That's right. <laughs> uh, and so perfect. Okay. And then earlier today, we talked about how to make the clothes for the figures. So, I have the clothes on it. I got it. Here's, here's a dress that we made, but I'm going to show real quick on here. Okay, go ahead, man. If you, if, you, if, you, if you find our template, there are pieces for the figures and for their clothes. But here at the studio, we're going a little uh, doing our own thing. So we have some figures that we have pre cut. And then we're going to make clothes for them. So the artists have picked out what color clothes they want. Yes. And remember, everybody, we're going to take take one of your figures. Yes. 
sit it on top of a colored piece, and then decide if you're going to make shorts or a dress. That's kind of the easiest way we're going to do it. And then we're going to trace. Do you remember how to do that, Jenny? Yeah. yeah. So you have one for that one. Okay, we'll set that aside. Now we got to do this one. Do you want a dress or shorts on that one? Short. Short. So you're just going to trace like from the back down to the back of the Yep, there. Up to here. Up there. Yep. Yep. You have to keep going. Okay. All right, that's good. Now start over here by the knee. Yep. Come over to the right here. Good, okay. And then we're going to make a line right here. Right here. Yep, and then we're going to make a line right there. Right here. Yep. And then that's what you're going to cut out. Don't worry about this little part. And that'll make you a pair of shorts. I ain't worried about that. Where's my shorts? Do you want to pull the camera up on you a little bit so they can see you working? All right. Did anybody in here have a favorite of Jacob Lawrence's paintings? Like the baseball one or the woodshop one or the church? Hey, man. Okay, 
Perfect. Very nice, David. Those people look super excited. Jumping through the air. I love it. All right. We're going to take a look over here and see what these guys are up to. Looking good. You got your clothes cut out there, Kara? Yeah. Yep. This guy's on there, Jay. Can we see? Brett, are yours glued on there yet? Uh-huh. No, no, we're still working on this. Okay. Mine aren't on there either. All right. That's all right. Take your time. You guys having fun with that project? You need some more glue dots? Uh, whoops. <laughs> All right, we'll get you some more blue dots. Girl. Hey, everybody. David, you, talk to us about, are you excited about red season? The red season. Do you know when it starts? It starts in April. Hi, everybody. How are you? <laughs> Awesome. All right, we're going to come over and see how Cassie's doing, and then I think we're going to wrap it up for today. Cassie, can we see how you're doing over here? Hi, everybody. Awesome. Look at that. That looks great. Hey. Hey, Jimmy. Those are some nice pants and dresses. Do you have anybody you want to say hi to today? I want to say hi to my buddy, Maria, and all my friends. Awesome, my buddy Maria and all her friends. I want to say hi to my best buddy, Ellie. Hi, guys. <laughs> okay, so Jody, you ready to do our? And Brett, you want to come on over and we'll do our final. I'm, I'm ready. Are you ready? Come on down, Brett. You're you stand ready. right here. I'm ready. I want to say hi to my best buddy, Ellie. Hi, Ellie. And we're, we all want to say, what do you want to say? Thank you for watching. One, two, three. Thank, Thank you for watching. You and Jody has one special what message for us. Thank you for watching. Be sure to stop in our store. We're open, we are open Tuesday for five, 10 a.m. to 4 p.m. Awesome. Thank you. Thank you. Have a good day, bud.